How's it going everyone? John here from the Killabits and today we build ourselves a dream or possibly a nightmare. Who knows? I'm no architect, but we'll find out what we can come up with as we try out Pile Up, the new strategic building game from Remove and is being published by Next in Game and Indie Arc. So what is Pile Up? It is, well as I said, a strategic building game. Unlike other city builders where you can apply some kind of logic and forward planning, we get dealt a random hand, really like a random hand of cards, and we have to keep our citizens happy with the buildings and all the requirements they are after, which is easier said than done, as things are a little bit... I was going to say chaotic. I mean, this is weird. It has this kind of dichotomy between like this very soothing, chill kind of cozy aesthetic as we've had in games like Dorf Romantic and I guess to a certain extent like Terranil, all those kind of indie building games. But no, it, there is a little bit of chaos in this, in the fact that you never know what buildings you're going to get. I mean, it's easier to show you. Like I said, I have played it a little bit. I mean, you do have two modes. I've only ever done the regular and we do have a couple of maps. I've tried the Rectlang. Basically, it's just a Square Island. Let's try the mountain. Let's shake things up a bit. Let's see what the mountain gives us. And yes, so you have to, as the name implies, stack things up, build yourselves a little town. And by a little town, I mean it's a very odd town as everything is stacked one on top of each other. Let's let's start off with some home offices, shall we? And uh, sure, we'll plonk them down here. Now, uh, we have some very, very skinny houses. I think we only get those right at the beginning. Not seen them after this point. Uh, but let's see what we can do with... We can, like, teeter things, have them hanging over. And seeing this little island over here, I do feel like we do want to build out to here, if possible. And that is possible with... Things like uh, supports and such. Um, oh, sure, somebody can have like a beachfront pro property. Uh, you know what? We could squeeze the small houses, the very small houses, in between. Because, I mean, access doesn't seem to really be necessary, weirdly. As long as you can get all the buildings together, they don't really care. So we are just going to go with this. Yeah, okay. I think we might have reached our limit. Although maybe we can fit in there. No. Okay, right. Yes. Can't do that, but we can build on top of each other. And if we can kind of get things lined up, we might be able to build across. To a certain extent. Uh, you know what? Some utility over here. I mean, they are going to need it, so sure. Uh, let's build this over here. Right. We've hit our first milestone. 200 citizens. We should... Well, where is my little indicator of, like, my... How happy my citizens... I guess it's not going to give me that until we've moved on a bit further. Okay. Uh... Can't get anything down here. Nope. Let's. Sure. Let's do big building over here then. Right. As long as it can lay out some struts below, we should be okay. Right. So, yes. Uh, each of these factories produce different things. Houses. This is the uh, requirement factory. You see all these little blips, these little bubbles of, over the top of the buildings. They're the requirements. This one wants water, water and power. We have a few down here. If you'll let me zoom. Zoom. I guess it's not going to let me zoom over here. Uh, these require uh, a gas tank. So they need fuel. Uh, of course, uh, we have that supplied by our factories. If I can get this hanging over as much as possible. Like, we have to be a little bit... You know, we can go fairly precarious with these buildings. And then once you've run out of cards, 
hit the space bar, click that, and the day progresses on. And there we go, there's our citizens. Currently we have 210 very upset citizens. But hopefully we can do something about that. Right, like I said, we know these require fuel over here. Ah no, this is the water tank. Right, in which case, we don't want to put that on a building, because that does make it collapse. We don't want that to happen. What we could do, though, is build the support, and maybe we can build the water tank on a support. We did say we were, were wanting to build out of that, right? Sure. Let's see... You know, let me put it there. Can we build the water tank there? See? Now we're okay because this is not going to collapse the support, but it is going to provide water to all those buildings that require it, which is kind of ideal for us. There you go. Happy citizens are productive citizens. And let's see. Can I actually bridge the gap? No. We can't force bridging the gap. But I am thinking we're probably... Well... Okay. Fuel tank and electricity don't go well together. Both require them. But we're going to have to be careful how we do this. Uh, I think in the gas tank there... And we might need fuel somewhere else all right let's let's build some more housing up here then so yeah if i can cycle the camera around there you go you can just about make out the symbol for gas fire whatever but yes fire and electricity do not mix that makes things explode and you don't want things exploding unsurprisingly like here we go here's the gas tank right so, we do want it providing fuel to all of those guys. I think, basically, if it's in the red, so if we have electricity in the red, then things go boom. But we can stack that over there. And then if we had something hanging over here, providing electricity to the things we wanted here, it didn't cross the bubble, we should in theory, be okay. He said, in theory. And that those guys wanted water, but they're very close to it anyway. So yeah, we've got a fairly happy uh, kind of group of people at the moment, which is good. And we haven't used much of this island yet. We're just like concentrating on this tiny little corner. Ah, we have a park. Okay, right. Nobody actually is asking for one yet, but it might be useful to get one out. In fact, could we put it on top here? No, we do want to build up. You know what? Let's do... Let's build a park on top of... Hmm. Can we bridge between the two? You know what? Sure. Let's put that there. And that should keep the citizens happy once we start building some houses over here. Uh, and on that note, sure, let's let's build right on the edge. Let's teeter as much as we dare. There you go. Happy citizens. And, yeah. Ah, right. Now here's our electricity. Right. As we were saying before. We do not want it incurring on that bubble, but there should be okay. So you see, that's the gas tank. Don't blow up the gas tank. But here should, should be okay. And that will provide power to the people we need it to. There you go. Happy people, right. Okay, I think we've set 
the foundations for our city. How about we skip forward a few turns, days, and see how much chaos I can cause piling everything up appropriately. All right, a lot of scaffolding later, and we find ourselves here. I've got to presume we're going to get some utility stuff now. There we go. There's our gas tank. Mechanic. When placed, the factory is in touch. Will be drained. Okay, yes. Let's do gas tank. Uh, do not put it next to the thing that will go boom. Uh, what requires gas over here? In fact, I think... No, no, we need gas over here as well. Right. Uh, I am going to actually place just just so we can fill that bubble. Because we're going to want electricity for all of these guys. The mechanic, on the other hand. It doesn't look like it's floating. We don't want it to float. Let's place that there. I have no idea what requirements this might have. So many buildings. Okay. Right, portable housing. Right, we should have houses for days. Okay, right. Uh, no, not on top of there. Just hoping for here. Big house. Sure, big house. Probably has a fair few requirements, though. Oh, no. I, I thought we were about to have another milestone. You know what? More big houses. Sure. No, actually. Home office. Let's see if we can connect these together somewhat. Yeah, just place a house right on top of the electric generator. I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong with that, right? Multiple houses would fit in there, and we could fit that there. And the only problem is, we've left a gap in the middle, but we don't have a great way of seeing into the gap. So I guess, I guess it works for our aesthetics. Uh, big houses. Uh, you know what? I think a big house over here could work. I don't know if it needs... It does need water. So we are going to need a water tank somewhere at some point. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a water tank at some point. Which needs to be on something solid. Not on top of a house, because that will leak into the house and bring it down. So we're going to need... Probably some support struts. Uh, so much electricity is required. Okay, it would be really nice to get some electricity, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think, like, a water tank off a support over here would be very nice. And electricity for all these houses. But we're not going to get it, it seems. It's just spitting out the housing. Well, I'll stick one down here. But this, we're still in the green. Ah, we can have a cafe now. Which I've got to presume improves morale? I know it gives us uh, some, like, bonus type stuff in the form of... Uh, what was it? Balconies? Right. over here. That requires water as well. Okay, we... Ah, there's balcony. Which isn't really the stru support strop we we're after, but it's something. We have to find a spot for it. Which isn't anywhere around here at the moment. Hmm.
I mean, we can put it on a flat area, but that's not the idea for a balcony. We want it to do a degree of overhang. Um, what we could do, the roofs, and uh, there are bonuses for having roofs. Duplicates houses with uh, one of the abilities I have. Anything over here. Do right. Right, more factories. For a moment there, I thought I could place the balcony. Oh, um, anywhere I want it. Like, no. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to forget the idea of using the balcony, aren't we? Because it's not really snapping to anything really useful for us. Uh, I think that might be going in the dump. If we can get to that point. Well, I guess talking about the dump, like I said, we can build on top of it. Is that the big one? That's the big building. Yeah, we definitely need some support struts, don't we? We are running out of, like, viable land around here. To build that. That's not at all precarious. And like I said, yeah, because we have a dump, we can actually just skip and we'll lose that. Okay, another park. Okay. Uh, sure. But that is the support we were after. He said, uh, yes, because we wanted water over here, didn't we? So, yeah. If we get a water tank, we should be able to place it there. Therefore, we'll be able to... Uh, a little bit more progress. And what we'll slip a teeny tiny house in there. One of those. Right, come on. You've got to give me electricity and water. Well, we got water. Good. Which we can provide to all of those fellas. Looks like it. Right. There we go. Happy citizens. Uh, we needed a gas tank over here, but is it going to blow anything up? I think we're far enough away from... Our electrical requirement? He said optimistically. There we go. Right, nothing exploded, which is good. And here we find ourselves. We've managed to build out the town. I, it's not quite a city, is it? It's more of a small hamlet stacked on top of each other. We're at 81% happiness. I mean, we've done pretty well on this level, it seems. And the random nature of it. I mean, there, there are elements of this that remind me of a, a slightly older game called uh, Concrete Jungle which had this random element of like building across you had to essentially like build street by street this isometric world uh, uh, uh. Right. that looks like while well, I'm overhanging I'm not really building onto where I want to but I mean we're building up at least we go from a stack land to a stack vill. Okay, we've got another dump. More factories. But yeah, you, you can see how it plays out. Uh, let's go with... Uh, sure, let's go with the casino. 
And we are into the unhappy phase. We have your citizens will uh, our rate will lose in five turns. Well, let's see if we can avoid. Let's say avoid losing, uh, but yeah, apparently I'm not allowed to build onto the, the mountain. I don't know why. Feels like I should be able to. I sh I've gone this far. I should be able to build onto the mountain, right? And yeah, this is looking more and more like uh, whatever the play, uh, the uh, the protagonist's home was in uh, Ready Player One. Just all those caravans and you know trailers and everything else stacked on top of each other. Seems as about as structurally sound as well, right? Nothing could possibly go wrong in this place. More parks. More supports, though. Okay. Uh, park over here would be a boon. In fact, we have multiple parks. Okay. Not really helping anybody there. But uh, we did say about support for water over here, didn't we? Get it to attach to something. Here. Actually be an ideal spot because we could probably get all of those, couldn't we? Presuming we can get things to land. Right. Uh, small house? Small house. Small house fit in there. Small house fits in there. Right, we are still, you know, four turns from defeat. Probably because I need some more utilities. Right, uh, I require a lot of gas over here. Try not to put it next to the generator. Though I guess we could end with a bang. All right, well, I mean, if we're going to wrap things up, this is what happens when you pass, place a gas tank way too close to an electric generator. Yep, you get a lot of unhappy citizens and an explosion. And that is probably where we'll call it. So yeah, this was Pile Up. If you're interested, I will leave a link down below. You can check it out for yourself. I do like how it's a weird mix of random deck building kind of with this the cozy chill of other building games though i would imagine in the sandbox mode you have a little bit more control and you can in that situation build more of a perfect town this kind of like regular challenge mode is well it's difficult because you're hoping for those buildings that are going to give you your utility boosts but they're never quite there. You're always at the whim of the cards. But yeah, like I said, this is the game in principle. Build town, try to keep the uh, citizens happy, don't have a social crisis when you blow up all their houses, which is definitely a thing that can happen. Uh, but yeah, this is Pile Up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you want to find out more, I will leave a link down below. And if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, click bells, do all the things. I will see you all again in the next one.